Yeah, so I think that um, what we found here was that patients with high mutational burden with mismatch repair, uh, which represent about 3 to 5% of advanced colon cancers, uh, responded very well to checkpoint inhibition with anti-PD-1. Um, my suspicion is that this will become standard of care in the near future for colon cancer. Uh, and that will demand that mismatch repair testing is part of the standard care for those patients. Um, and I suspect that up front, when you get diagnosed with advanced colon cancer, you're going to get mismatch repair testing. Um, so I see that in the very near future. For other tumor types, I think we're going to see the same thing, that patients that may have mismatch repair, which includes even things like lung cancer and pancreatic cancer and ovarian cancer, and maybe even prostate cancer, will have mismatch repair testing when they're diagnosed with metastatic disease. I think that is coming in the near future. I think unlike other genetic testing that goes on for cancer, we know that there's going to have be a high impact therapeutic associated with this. Yeah, so we, we are in collaboration with Merck, going to open two studies. One, a registration study in the third line, patients who have failed all therapy, and in the first line, patients who are newly diagnosed with colon cancer. And we're going to compare that head-to-head -head with standard of care um, and see which one does better. My suspicion is PD PD-1 will work better in mismatch repair deficient patients.